Circo Project Coordinator, I would like to present to you a case study dealing with a selected demolition of an industrial building carried out in the Basque Country. This case study aims to demonstrate on-site recycling routes of the stony fraction of the construction and demolition waste composed of concrete and masonry for the on-site and off-site manufacturing of new concrete containing mixed recycle aggregates. This derelict industrial building, dating from the 1970s, has a concrete structure and a brick facade. It is located in an urban environment within the city of Bilbao, which is in the Basque Country in the north of Spain. Its main purpose in the past was to hold several small manufacturing workshops. The first stage of the demolition process was to identify, quantify and locate the different types of waste, not including the stony materials coming from the building structure. After this initial analysis, the cleaning process can begin. The different waste was separated and sorted in terms of its nature, its potential reuse, recycling and valorization, or in terms of its hazardous nature. The bituminous layer was removed from the concrete surface. Cardboard waste was pressed together on site. Hazardous waste such as fluorescent lamps, glue or contaminated containers were sorted and collected in waterproof barrels and later covered with a thick plastic sheet. Once this stage is completed, the asbestos containing elements were dismantled following approved safe procedures. This is waste that cannot be managed on site, so it is shipped to an authorised waste manager. Once the building has been stripped, it only contains the reinforced concrete and the concrete and brick walls. The building shares party walls with its neighbour. So in order to avoid any damage to the neighbouring structure, the demolition was started using small remote controlled demolition robots, which also help reduce vibrations and noise. Once the building was prepared, Intensive demolition was carried out using a long reach jib and hydraulic shears. The machine is used to collect the demolished material and separate the first fraction of the concrete. The stony fraction was treated in a crusher to reduce its size. The selected materials, concrete, brick, and a mix of both were sifted by size to obtain 0 to 6 and 6 to 20 mm particles. Technalia characterized the material and researched on the dosification to be used in the on and off site concrete preparation. Four types of concrete were prepared from the material obtained from the demolished building using different dosifications. Innovation, ceramic gravel and sand, coming from the brick waste, were used in the concrete preparation. Finally, Technalia tested the samples collected for each type of concrete obtained. The 
mechanical test results based on average compressive strength at 28 days and durability met the design requirements established for the final uses, which were the concrete strip foundation and slab. In summary, this case study highlights the need for a selective demolition approach, which yields high-grade recycled aggregates and allows the recovery of a large proportion of the construction and demolition waste for high-grade applications such as concrete manufacturing.